today, Games Workshop announced Codex Imperial Agents. And this is the first thing 40K has seen for, it feels like, a long, long time. Obviously, the focus has been on Age of Sigma, And it kind of coincides with me taking a bit of a break on the channel. So if you've stuck by me while I've not made any content the last few months, thank you. I'm back. I fully intend to make a lot more content going forward now. It's been a break that I've quite enjoyed from both YouTube and hobby, I've had a lot of stuff going on. But more about that in another video. This is definitely the biggest thing that's worth talking about uh, since, I don't know, probably Dark Angels for me or something, right? This is a completely new faction and it's quite exciting. But I think the biggest talking point has got to be this model. This model is really interesting for me because I'm usually very pro Games Workshop sort of updated sculpts. Um, I'm also weirdly sort of pro tactical rocks, and I've spoken a lot on this channel, um, even you know my more recent videos about how sort of using creative ways to kind of have flying miniatures uh, propped up on something, particularly with jump packs, uh, is it, actually quite quite good. And Games Workshop do this quite well, um, but this doesn't work, does it? I, I'm, I, it just doesn't work. I don't know. I'm, listen, I'm sure this will look a little bit better in person, but even from this angle, it looks pretty odd, doesn't it? So often I give people the benefit, give models the benefit of the doubt and say, from another angle, it might look a bit better. From In 3D, it might look a bit better. And this could well be true. But in this case, I really can't see this looking too good. It, it's just an awkward placement. Off the feet would have been absolutely fine maybe even like on the tail or something that was sort of symmetric, but but this, nah, it's not selling it, unfortunately. And it's a shame because it's a good eagle. Anyway, that's just, you know, a small thing. The, the model itself, um, I don't think has been received that well. I don't think it's awful, but it, it's certainly worse than the original. And interestingly, these sort of human miniatures, even if they're old sculpts, they don't age as badly as the Marines because the scale sort of hasn't changed as much. And actually like in the characters in this sort of armor and this sort of build, like you don't notice that the scale's too bad. So actually like this model holds up all right nowadays. Like it's not gonna be that much shorter than your standard humans. And the scale's not gonna look too weird either, which is not true for Space Marines. So in this case, they've, they've made them quite a bit bigger which they didn't necessarily need to do. And yeah, it's it's not great, is it? Very, very weird proportion on the legs in particular. You know, like, Space Marines have small legs, right? And this is not a Space Marine, but this is also not a Space Marine, and it sort of looks like one. And it, it's not it's not pretty, is it? I, I don't think, like, the pose is the problem here. So, like, different angles isn't going to save it. I think the pose is fine. I think the cape's fine. I think the hammer's fine. The base is fine. It's just this sort of weird proportion on the armor and the head. It's just like they sort of need to make this a little bit smaller, give them a little bit more of a neck. And then, I mean, instantly the model will be like three times better. And I think it's a little, lacking a little bit of something that the old model had. Um, it's just gone a little bit too sort of dialed up in the cartoonish proportions for me. And that's saying something because usually I'm a big fan of the Primaris. This one is a little bit of a miss. And I think what might be interesting is if the backlash to this is, is so bad, and, and I think sometimes like people complain about models, but, but overall people are fine with it. I think this one has had a really, really poor reception. Um, the last time I remember it being this bad was actually the Space Wolf heads. You remember the Space Wolf heads? The Horus Heresy ones, like Space Space Wolf, uh, Legion. You remember that? Like, and they actually replaced them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> here it is. They actually re released these a f less than a year later, or maybe six months later, or something. The original ones were the sort of wolf face ones, and then they discontinued those very quickly. And they released these new sculpts. Cause that doesn't take Games Workshop very long to, to, to do these designs on the computer. Um, I wonder if I can't, I can't see them doing it, but the thought entered my head that maybe they would possibly, 
um, re release, re release him. And, and remember, they have re released models with slightly different poses before. Again, on the Heresy, and maybe they have a reason for this to do with the resin or something like that. But it was an Imperial Fist guy, wasn't it? This one, yeah. When they announced this model originally, it was a different pose. And then they sort of, I don't know what happened with it. There was some reason, um, maybe maybe to do with the, the sculpt and resin or something. And, and then they re-released it um, in a different pose. And I wonder if maybe they, they, they might re-release a different version of this guy. But my guess would be this is what we kind of stuck with because he's going to go in, you know, straight into this box. And that's what I want to talk about next. So what do you think of this guy? Um, I, I Usually I, I try and defend these models, but unfortunately the... The, the legs and the proportions and, and, and the sort of what it what it's lost from the last sculpt and also this weird wing thing is it's a little bit too too much for me to, to defend unfortunately um, I think the eagle is good it, you know you could probably position it a bit differently and it would look all right I think probably from some angles he looks fine but I will not be buying this sadly but anyway, that's the bad thing out the way first. The boxes are actually pretty good, I think. Um, a lot of these Imperially models came out in Kill Teams, and now you're going to be able to get them much more easily. Called Get a Servitor. I think these are very nice sculpts, to be honest. Um, interestingly, there's Firstborn in here. And this is the Firstborn Death Watch kit that, I, that really interests me, actually. Um, and I've, I've spoken about this before, but it's the Death Watch Veterans kit. Death Watch Veterans Kit. Here we go. And I'm pleased this is in here for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's about the only like, well-scaled Firstborn um, multi-part kit the Games Workshop made. It, it was made in 2016, I think, and it is noticeably bigger than even the, the 2013 Tactical Marines, which is nice. They don't look too out of proportion compared to Primaris or whatever, and it's a really nice kit. Like, you get a lot of good options in here, a lot of character, a lot of weapons, a lot of bits. Um, I've never built the kit, but I, I'm definitely tempted by it. And um, it's it's a good sign it's in here because it suggests to me that they think it's um, a decent enough firstborn kit. They don't tend to put many firstborn kits um, in these sort of sets, which is uh, a sign they think it's not too sort of out of date. And uh, it probably is going to stick around, which is also nice. I think this is a decent decent set. Uh, this one interestingly has grey knights, which uh, this is the worst one by far for me. I mean, you've got grey knights, which probably going to be replaced at some point, maybe eleventh edition. You've got the, the the Inquisitor model that I'm not too too hot on, and then you've got two of these um, same sets here, and, and I think this is a Chimera tank or something, a like pretty old uh, guard tank. So I'm not sure this one is too great unless you do like the new model. Um, but the Order Hereticus one is also excellent um, for the sisters. And again, this, this set with the Servitor, which was a kill team, I think. And are those the RBTs as well? Or... No, the other one. The What does it say? The, the other kill team that they released recently. There we go. So it's pretty nice um, overall. I wonder how much these boxes will cost. Probably uh, Battle Force boxes. Okay, so... They'll be Battle Force priced. Um, and it does say interestingly here at the bottom, like, don't worry, Grey Knights players. Uh, there'll be dedicated Grey Knights codex on the way next year. Now, it'll be very interesting to see if they do release new kits, so sort of upscaled Terminators for Grey Knights, or if they just go the, the sort of one character and maybe save that for 11th edition. They've definitely been drip feeding recently. Uh, leaving a lot on the table for themselves to, to, to get games workshop work very hot, uh, far ahead when it comes to their release cycle like they're thinking about what they're going to do for 11th and probably even beyond that and they've got to leave stuff for them to update you, to keep people engaged and and you know if they can still sell gray knights and packaging and these kits then they don't need to release the new ones even though they probably could that's just how they work i think finally there was something right at the top of this article which caught my attention. Well, billions of guardsmen and redacted space marines. So that's pretty interesting. Definitely hints that there's going to be probably new space marine stuff coming out, and we already know that. 
but I think this is a direct tease for Blood Angels. Could be wrong, but it's looking like the Blood Angels are finally coming next. And we've been talking about Blood Angels in this channel for a long, long time. And finally, they're coming. And to be honest, I think the Blood Angels release needs to land well. I think the Dark Angels release was very good. I think the Crute release was good, but it, I don't believe it sold that well. But I think it's just a bit niche. I think this is not... I mean, it's one new model, right? And it's sort of, you know, from a rules perspective, this could probably be really interesting and it could be really, uh, you know, exciting way to play the Imperium now. So that, that's kind of cool. And, they, you know, there's more use for these sort of kill team boxes they've released in the last couple of years. Nice. You know, I like that. I like this first one. That's cool. But in terms of new miniatures, I, I'm putting putting a lot of hope on this Blood Angels release because 40k hadn't really had anything, you know, too exciting. Uh, probably since, since the Dark Angels for me, which was the start of the year. Uh, um, and to be honest, I think that was announced at Christmas time. So we're talking a good six months now. And I've not had that much to talk about on the channel, really. It's been a lot of one model, new codex, one model, new codex. So hopefully the Blood Angels get a good chunk of new Primaris models. Hoping for Death Company, Sanguinary Guards, some characters. You know the drill. Let's see what we get. And I'll, of course, be covering it on the channel. So... Interested to see what you think about this. Um, one of the few times I'll be very critical of a new release. Usually, I'll defend them. Not sure about this. If you like this, please do subscribe. It's great to be making videos again. The next video will be a hobby video. I've actually been doing some hobbying recently. I've been making some nice progress into Leviathan. So I realized with the Age of Sigmar release last month, it's been over a year since Leviathan came out and I'm still slaving away at it. Maybe I'll finish it before 11th edition and I'll definitely show you when I do. So if you enjoyed this, I will link my Discord server, which has actually still been pretty active, even while I've not been making videos, and a link to my Element Games affiliate link. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.